test. Nice. We got the audio going as well. And we should be live. Let's make sure we're live. Let's check it out. There we are. We have to say bye and bye to uh, Chelsea Manning. Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to another live stream. Today is August 9th, 2020, and we're doing an open discussion on censorship, privacy, and surveillance, and everything that it entails. And there's a lot regarding all three of these topics, really. But right now, um, I think maybe the main focus will be censorship to a certain degree because surveillance we've talked a lot about uh, privacy we've talked a lot about and um, even though those are extremely important topics so right now what's been happening for the last few months is uh, a lot of censorship taking place by the technocrats by centralized power by everybody and anybody so censorship being a main focus of conversation today would be fantastic zimmy how are you doing double o two hello hello lark bark how are you hello chicho and everyone it's been a week since we live streamed i've been uh, i've been anxious i'm like man it's been a week since we live streams we're catching up on a lot of stuff learning balance hello hello while we wait for notifications to go out for people to roll in let me tell you who i am graham ahoy ahoy <clears throat> i read your little write-up on uh, <coughs> our education and uh, the first reply to it anyway the discussion was heating up i didn't have time to read anymore elder god how are you doing we now hit a uh, person of interest territory <laughs> hilarious gang if you want to know who i am what i'm doing what this is all about i am on patreon you can follow the work there patreon.com slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o and you can follow the work there if you like you can support this work if you have the means if you have the funds to do so through patreon is a fantastic way to do so i don't put anything behind paywalls everything's creative commons share and share alike okay we are live streaming this on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Chicho Live, C H O C H Y C H O L I V E. And if you want to participate in these live streams as they are happening in the chat, Twitch is where you want to be at. Okay. And for those of you who are here who are participating in discussions live, subscribing, following, and everything else thank you for being here hail edward stone for blowing the white whistle indeed holden who's will show 45 hey i made a move stream a move stream movie stream move stream did you do a move, move stream will show what what's up what's up spider-man spider-man how are you doing dr p blessings blessings greetings and blessings howdy chicho howdy chat up sort con if you want to follow this work i do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on elo vk minds gabs parlor and twitch and, and twitter <laughs> right most of the extensions for those platforms are forward slash chicho okay i gotta set that up elder god i haven't set up the automated stuff for those links yet i will i will this week if you haven't seen it remind me l o e l l o dot c o forward slash chicho we do share additional content there and you can follow this work there as well as vk mind gab parlor and twitter okay the reason we are emphasizing this is because this week twitter decided to prohibit censor links to bitshoot right and after a day because as soon as they did it i announced that i wasn't going to use twitter until they reinstalled bitshoot links and within 24 hours they said bitshoot links are 
okay again. They got a little disclaimer in there, right? So we are going to start promoting more of the other platforms than the ones that are censoring. Okay. We will be uploading the audio for this discussion to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho C H Y C H O for those that wish to listen to these discussions just in audio format as podcast and our podcast these discussions are also now available on spotify okay and those who are listening just to the audio welcome i hope you enjoy this discussion and we will be uploading this video to youtube and bit okay unless we go down a rabbit hole or two then it will only be a bit exclusive gang aside from that welcome welcome everyone i'm just going to get caught up with chat uh, da, 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 da. live stream was on my today will show good good you can do a social um socials and put them all in there oh great idea spider-man okay we do we do uh that'll make it easier for everyone i think okay thank you for that spider-man great suggestion graham i've been doing a lot of stuff on reddit lately especially in r i want to learn awesome awesome graham reddit is a great tool for learning it is for asking questions uh interaction as long as the uh, subreddits are not censored up the yin yang right catholic traditionist hello how are you doing good evening folks i hope your sunday has been as blessed as mine attended mass with my family went to a hike pulled out the guitars and played some music with the children danced with my granddaughter laughed mostly at me with my wife harvested some fresh vegetables from our garden and cooked a meal together and now making great progress in my home lab on a meaningful project wonderful day dio gratia gratias awesome sounds like a good sunday catholic traditionalist sounds like a fantastic sunday good evening chicho uh spencer how are you doing hope everyone's doing well indeed indeed <laughs> king reformed you got trump 2020 is that what you got that is the best that the american political system has to offer the difference between trump and biden a choice is that a choice let's talk about censorship i got apricot liqueur that we made about three weeks ago i guess now almost three weeks ago maybe two weeks ago three weeks ago starting to taste good starting to taste very good starting to taste very good you can marinate a little more i got some cheese here and a little bit of like a pastry thing this is blue cheese very creamy blue cheese it's really good okay fantastic blue cheese okay this guy here is uh cheese with cardamom seeds in it so i got two different types of cheese <laughs> oh my god no cheese <laughs> and i got tea and water going as well willow show chicho i bought a few of each of those three comics you mentioned reading bone and transmetropolitan right now awesome awesome how do you like how do you like will show will show uh i believe he came on he commented on one of our videos on youtube that he had read watchman and he wasn't a comic book reader and he read watchman and he really like really liked it i believe correct me if i'm wrong will show and if i had any other suggestions or he might have sent me a message through patreon he might have sent me a message through patreon i believe actually and i he asked for recommendations and bone and trans metropolitan or uh are a couple of recommendations i made spider-man chicho 2020 <laughs> bone is great fantastic huckleberry chicho hey chat sorry i'm late no worries we just started bone is fantastic absurdicon says uh great story and world indeed indeed smoking some wonderful flour tonight nice might make cinnamon sugar toast later oh 
<laughs> decadence, decadence. Kron, how are you doing? Yo, Chicho, I just found out about that Marvel Warriors comic. I'm so late. Marvel Warriors comic, which one? Marvel Warriors. It's slipping my mind if I know about it. Do you guys get uh, Studio Ghibli vibes from Bone? Uh, to a certain degree, not as much. Some, 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 some. But Bone is very unique on its own. Bone is the humor in Bone is not Ghibli humor. Um, the the world building is not Ghibli world building. It's got the American slant to it, right? It's not Japanese. It's American, so it's more. Uh, to me anyway less magical more tangible spider-man says yes studio ghibli coolio hey about to show shower before <laughs> bed but wanted to pop in and say hi i'll pop back in once i'm in bed for a little bit oh awesome coolio i hope you have a fantastic shower and you're gonna end up having a great rest man Tristan Mobile Chicho, could I ask you personally why you you prefer Twitch over YouTube for live streams? I mean, the answer is obvious, but your personal reason. My personal reason uh, is mul multiple fold. Okay. Uh, number one, it was at the beginning stages of YouTube. This is about two and a half years ago, three years ago. I started thinking about this, right? Um, live streaming, anyway which is uh, I want to make sure we're decentralizing we're, we're not putting all our eggs in one basket because we saw where everything was going with YouTube with Google where they kept on taking uh, things that they have offered to creators off the table and then re readjusting things deplatforming people de demonetizing people and stuff like this so obviously they're not a reliable partner to focus on 100% with right you can't have all your work there right so it was part of process of decentralization okay another reason is uh, I wanted to try it a different platform which is I came to twitch and I loved it instantaneously it was a, ju just a different dynamic right where um, it's a gaming it was a gaming it was let's say it twitch was a gaming platform strictly and i have been a gamer in my life i i understand the the dynamics of gaming and the mentality that is required for gaming so it was a very natural fit for myself okay um that those were two of the features i had really good friends that also um knew about twitch uh, one of them was working on some apps that are linked through twitch some programs that uh, twitch uses so i know knew the little inner workings of the dynamics of of twitch and uh, where it was going and stuff like this so uh, those are i guess three of the reasons if you want to know what kept me here man the interaction on chat is amazing right uh the 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 openness of it that we can communicate more information on twitch during the live streams that we can on youtube that automatically makes it a better prat platform as far as i'm concerned right because there's less censorship right so any platform that has less censorship is a better platform and that is a platform that we will navigate towards right and hence one of the topics of the discussion for this thing clifford 2020 <laughs> I'll drop a free drilling Assange to get the conversation rolling though. Awesome, Coolio. We'll show. Yeah, Patreon. Okay, it was through Patreon. That's right. By the way, uh, we'll show. Thank you for the support on Patreon. Okay. And all that you said is correct. Really loving Bone right now. I started reading both to see which pulled me in more, and Bone was just working for me. Really enjoying. Uh, so thanks for the recommend. Oh, my pleasure. It's magical. Like, Bone is. I, I i mentioned it's less magical than studio ghibli but it's not it's more tangible like you can 
it, it's it's brilliant i've read bone uh twice or three times i can't remember to at least twice right and every every few years i go back to it and read it again right bone i've never finished it uh but i have books one to six i think awesome yep brother lonely piggy how are you doing Cron, it's new or oh, new warriors that's right it's like new characters but they're all woke heroes includes names like snowflake and space safe space does it snowflakes and safe space awesome hilarious i gotta check it out i love the old new warriors man marvel's old new warriors so fun thoughts on thoughts thoughts on thoughts you should be allowed to think whatever you want no thought crime right i always liked bone as a kid uh crown of thorns uh, was so good so good yeah was it horn of thorns no crown of horns crown of horn or thorn thorn was the girl spider-man chicho so i'd say first thing we should talk about is a censorship an attempt at banning TikTok by trump i think it's absolutely ridiculous i think it's absolutely ridiculous because of the reasons that they've given because they're monitoring I'm, I'm i haven't finished reading your comment by the way spider-man but i'm just going to jump in right now because that's what i do i jump in as soon as the sentence is over uh but uh i think the reasons that they're giving are ridiculous if they gave different reasons then maybe less people would be appalled by it right but the reasons they gave is because uh, TikTok is collecting data of all these Americans and all these kids and blah 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 is going to the Chinese government. But all the other platforms are collecting all the same type of data, if not more, of American citizens and have having it accessible by the US government. So it's not that they're concerned about privacy, it's they're concerned about different things right TikTok has a definite stereotype behind it but has turned into something very valuable many gen 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 zers are using the platform to spread in important information about how corrupt our government is trump should be focusing on more important things than this can't remember the name huckleberry says okay regarding bone now spider-man so i agree with you censoring like deplatforming banning is just i linked up uh, actually a discussion on the duran which i i thought it was a fantastic discussion on the duran uh that they provided regarding the TikTok ban okay and i highly recommend people follow the duran on their bit shoot channel um because they're sharing they're providing great insight okay so if you go to our discord page you'll see the link that i provided um, either under censorship or politics it's a video discussion right so it's it talks about tiktok and the problems associated by why they decided to ban it but what's going to happen is are people going to be satisfied when they can continue the same discussion that they're having but with microsoft owning TikTok because Microsoft has been given the window to gobble up TikTok right to buy it out right Facebook released some new type of thing that is going to mimic TikTok and stuff like this right I personally think people are crazy talking on platforms like this or apps like this that are collecting every bit of information about them and sending sending it to a centralized power right so what's the alternative from what i understand gab and mines don't do that right so twitter does gab and mines don't do that there's a certain amount of, amount of privacy associated with those platforms i don't know if there's anything similar to it in regards to TikTok, but to me this is just the beginning stages of the walls in the multipolar world that are going up where information is the new black gold i guess they call it. they're called oiled black gold and they're calling this the information gold i don't know what they're calling it all the different terminology but information data is ridiculously important it's the new oil 
what it, what's it called? It's new oil or whatever it is, right? Is driving, and the reason they call it the new oil, by the way, because it's data which is driving our current economic system right now. It's the energy that fuels it, right? On every level, on every level, right? So it is a form of energy that our current economic system needs it's an input right so this is just the beginning by the way this is just the beginning okay huckleberry regarding spider-man tiktok comment completely agree it's a u.s government economic bullying tactic and that's exactly what it is it's not about trying to prevent the gen zers talking about trump and stuff like this i don't think that's his intended purpose its intent is economic warfare right to give more power to silicon valley and to shut out china which is what's going to happen is we're going to start seeing walls being built right trade walls information walls physical walls where people cannot travel from here to here right so this is what we're seeing it's at the beginning stages of it Absurdicon Chicho, it definitely is Americanization in the in the humor of the world design. Yeah, for bone. But to me, the art and physical character design in bone feels very Ghibli inspired. Yeah. The bones for sure. <laughs> the bones are man, I want to read that again. And I have two copies here, by the way. This is this is the book we're talking about. This is my book. I read this one at least twice. I might have read it three times. And I have another copy of it up here that i gave to my partner to read <laughs> okay let me put this guy here i pull it out i can't it's too thick for me to put it back in again there we'll put this guy here bone did i show it to you correctly here i didn't show it to you long enough this is bone if you guys haven't read this read this what a like amazing amazing world to immerse yourself in and this is the complete series okay bone phenomenal you'll you'll lose yourself in this right you'll lose yourself in this bone read this jeff smith read this beautiful beautiful series keep hitting enter by no worries will show do you guys think trump's executive order was just a move to make people think they wouldn't be paying taxes right before the election i think a lot of people don't realize they are just uh deferred and they will all have to be paid seems convenient that it extends through december right after your election coolio spider-man the main reasoning is because it, it it is feeding america's info to the chinese government it's been banned off federal employees devices for some time now there is irony though since that's what american social media has been doing for decades but it's a little different when you're talking about the ccp yeah and that is exactly what it is right moss thank you for taking care of business Did I, oh man i'm missing a lot of chat yikes okay i'm gonna check this out and i'm gonna scroll down I'm gonna see if there's anything directed towards me. Da -da 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 and then I'll continue. Spider Man. Uh, TikTok has also been uh, reported to gather data and do not agree with this. But most social me media platforms do the same thing. And that is the hypocrisy in play, Spider Man. Fuzzy Man. See Fuzzy Man. Good evening, Chicho. I hope all things are well. Doing well. Thank you very much, man. Kebabs a lot of people don't believe me and rightly so but my uncle jeff is the owner of amazon <laughs> tristan mobile wow okay i forgot your main slogan of decentralization i see where you're coming from google has been wonderful to me as a paying user but i'm sure it's all the opposite to artists and creators i imagine that's for taking part um, thanks for taking part of your time to answer my question oh uh, my pleasure uh tristan mobile my pleasure uh, and that was regarding why i came to twitch right 
but also spider-man i also like to mention there's a little tr literal child exploitation video and selling on twitter every single day and trump hasn't done a thing about this his priorities are messed up it's spider-man brother it's not just trump trump is everybody's saying trump uh everybody's saying trump but we have to step away from trump it's spider-man i like i'm guilty of it as well right when it came to obama i kept on saying obama but it was the obama machine the administration right uh so obama bush jr clinton clinton tag team to bush jr bush jr tagged obama obama tags trump right these are just front faces right there's something bigger going on in the background there's something bigger going on in the background huckleberry bone and calvin and Hobbes are probably my favorite non-superhero comic book series yeah and i've read every single calvin hob i have a, a compilation books of them and stuff i've read those so many so many times and if you've never read read calvin and Hobbes, read it amazing trump trump is pissed off about uh anything and anyone that disagrees with them much like a child coolio i agree with that 100 percent, right agree with it but trump shouldn't be our central focus uh, graham chicho is there any tangible technological reason that reason the internet could not be free and free and uh, ubiquitous ubiquitous a Ubiquitous, ubiquitous. <laughs> I presume is purely creed, kind of like people selling water or land that shouldn't really belong to anyone and therefore couldn't be sold. Um, there is a cost to rolling out infrastructure, and what the Western governments have done is uh, pass this on to private organization to do them, right, with taxpayer funded money. So they gave all these infrastructure companies hundreds of billions of dollars to roll out the infrastructure we needed for us to have specifically high speed internet right because the telephone dial-up stuff uh, systems were there already right uh, is there any reason is there any reason uh, th there's no reason for internet to be censored filtered throttled by central power okay absolutely none the only reason they're doing this to maintain control right is to accumulate more power so on that front it should be completely free flowing right should it be free i'm on the same mindset as this right a society has to be insane not to provide health care and education and housing to its population and a society would have to be insane not to provide free flow of information as much access to as much information as possible to its citizens if it wants its citizens to be educated for its for that society to prosper right the only reason they're doing it is because they want to maintain control censor information they don't want accountability they don't want transparency it's central power doing it okay carry on chat uh, i do some activism in my hometown and tiktok has been a great organizational tool for a lot of groups here so it makes sense that the government wouldn't want us to have it in my opinion but uh huckleberry you could have used any of the other silicon valley platforms to do the same could you not could you not have it's just something that people gravitate gravitated towards is it not I don't use TikTok, right? But as far as I know, it's it's gotten so big because it's the first of its first wave, first one that really introduced so many different options to its users. The e ease of sharing information, the video, quick videos that you could make. I'm not really sure how they got everyone to use it tell you the truth I'm not sure what the marketing behind it was Kron it was crazy how he called Joe Biden is a threat to the Bible and God 
Yeah, I don't look, guys. I'm going to tell you this. I don't listen to Trump talk, not very much, other than little tidbits I hear from. Oh, listen, it just randomly makes it. It's just like, oh, if I'm watching some kind of discussion, lecture, or debate where all of a sudden they slip in a little blip about Trump speaking or Biden speaking or any of those talking heads speaking. I don't follow them word for word, right? What what we need to do is see what central power is doing, right? If you want to play the long game, the noise is entertaining. The noise is entertaining, right? It keeps you occupied if you want to follow the noise, but it really doesn't give you the long-term trajectory of what's taking place. Donald Trump is ripping up the rule book. He is go going way beyond normal political lines and ramming your society into religious, constitutional, and legal battles that are dangerous and polarized nations. Weasel Beast 22. Donald Trump is ripping up the rule book. So have the previous presidents, right? So have the previous presidents. Kebab. Kebabs. I'd be scared to live in the U.S. with its current problems. It makes me feel blessed to live in the U.K. Then again, we're not much better. The U.K. is going quite draconian as well, brother. Uh, their censorship is more hardcore than the United States. You have to appreciate that. They are torturing, right, and have been torturing. Okay, one of the most important journalists on this planet with Julian Assange. Uh, You, if you said Iceland, I would have said, yeah. If you said Canada, can we're in a better situation than the United States right now. But the wave that is hitting the United States in general is about five years behind, right? So in Canada, we're about five years behind what five to ten years behind what rolls out in the United States to a certain degree. I don't know if we're going to go that chaotic as the U.S., right? Weasel, we are not ones to be uh, to speak. To be honest, we're facing our own cliff uh, cliff edge. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think that's about the U.S. History shows what social social uh, socialites will deem acceptable when the struggle starts, and kindness usually comes way after the darkness of human cruelty. Unfortunately, Cheryl, how are you doing? Elo, I think is definitely a better social platform. Gab is full of ra uh, Graham. A platform is a platform is a platform. A lot of people say, oh, BitChute is this, but BitChute is not this. BitChute is just a platform, okay? Gab, I share information there. If there's people that are comfortable surfing Gab, being on Gab, I'm making myself available to them to follow my work as well. It is me, my responsibility as a creator to make sure I am decentralized, right? to get my message my vision across right on that note or that being said as a consumer of information it is also my responsibility to make sure i am not fed information through a central power that is censoring filtering throttling right as a consumer i have to make sure that i am not programmed brainwashed to be cannon fodder right as a consumer, I have to make sure I have multiple platforms, multiple sources of information that I'm active on, right? That I that I use to get information because I do not want to be a dingling, right? So I disagree with all the trash talking regarding certain platforms. If there are people there, if you think your message is worthy, create an account share your message on those platforms okay if you are a consumer of information and if you're beginning to realize that you live in a bubble it is your responsibility to go to other platforms and consume information from other platforms that is available on other platforms okay and as a consumer of information you know that you live in a bubble okay when you talk to people in real life in person in close proximity and they tell you you don't know what the hell it is you're talking about right 
or did you hear about this or when someone comes up to you i just had a conversation with a with a really dear close friend of mine that uh she isn't uh as tech savvy as i am or goes on multiple platforms to acquire information right so we meet once a f once every few months and we touch base and i enter her world she tells me what she's up to and she asks me questions of my my, my world and i during this conversation that we had this week i asked her you know we we're talking about different things she filled me in a little bit and i asked her what's the most important piece of information right now news that everyone should be talking about but very few people are talking about right and she gave me you know the TikTok thing and uh, gave me a few other things as well right and i said on all of them i said no right and if you want to know in my opinion the most important thing that has unfolded in the last few months that should be on the front pages of every if you consider your sources news sources right may it be platforms may it be television may it be websites may it be apps or whatever it is is the mass the mass revelations that have come out that pedophiles run the world at least in the western world in the united states with maxwell and epstein right why is that not on the front pages of every news outlet right why aren't there investigative journalists digging up the stories regarding this right so to me it's not important what trump is saying the TikTok thing sure it's censorship right and it is censorship but it's not censorship for what a lot of people the corporate propagandists and stuff saying it's not about the data okay it's a business it's an economic move right so there is so much going on right and i consider censorship that what the revelations are that epstein didn't kill himself what's coming out through maxwell what's coming out through some of hollywood information that were that is coming out why is that information not filtering through to the general population right i'm going to scroll down again to see if there's anything uh directed towards me spider-man you're right chicho it's better to look at the bigger it's better to look at the bigger picture because this TikTok thing is going to be over shortly within the next few months right however there's a lot more a lot of other things that are being rolled out that they're on their way right we've got to keep our eyes on the prize huckleberry insane is definitely the right way to describe american culture yeah it's it's absolutely insane right now is my audio going down it should be okay i hope it's okay yes audio is a little low on my end as well is it maybe we start talking about things we shouldn't have been talking about and the audio goes down right we see we see hopefully let's check it out let's check it out should we crank up the audio i don't want to mess with the game too much i'm going to scroll down to see if the audio fixed itself wow lots of chat okay i'm going to scroll back up and just read the stuff that's directed towards me for now da, 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 da. if there is an issue with the audio please just go audio 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 i'll catch it on the on the video weasel beast 2020 chicho but there is there is all the false hope the occupy movement the anti-surveillance etc it's always words for the common common man with zero substance when does real hope and real change show up uh i'm just going to finish reading your thing do you uh overthrow of capitalism example a hybrid system of decentralized power and socially responsible capitalistic ideals weasel beast i don't think occupy movement was a failure occupy movement was a success right it wasn't a failure because obama overnight told 
the police forces to shut it all down right a lot of people don't don't talk about that if trump had done that that'd be all over the discussion right now trump shut down trump shut down occupy trump shut down occupy but obama shut down occupy right but obama was not a failure uh, no obama uh, occupy movement was not a failure occupy movement was a huge success because a lot of people from that movement dispersed and start a decentralized disruptive innovation right sharing of information occupy was a huge success right what we're seeing right now with let's call it the awakening right is in direct result of the occupy movement it had a huge part to play in it the TikTok marketing was absolutely everywhere it was massive was it i never hit me <laughs> it didn't hit me Graham, at all canada will always be uh the land of the intelligence free maybe i don't know there's a lot of dum-dums around here as well catholic church for tiktok to be so popular i assume there must be more valuable content on it than simply cats playing pianos dudes getting hit in the groin with various things and cringe inducing mini dances <laughs> there are people sharing political stuff on there i've seen some stuff catholic traditionalists right that have popped up but it's not a platform i'm active on so i'm assuming it's just like any other platform you can find whatever you want to find right as long as it's not being censored weasel beast 2020 apart from COVID, the most interesting thing i heard was voices from upon the capitalist hill themselves calling for a broader spread of distribution to maintain a capitalistic society <laughs> that kind of talk from large corporations is bizarre and an interesting noise they must be pretty worried about potential swings to socialism <laughs> and by the way weasel beast 2020 i'm gonna that's the way i interpreted what you wrote by the way basically capital capitalist corporations that are touting free markets and stuff like this receive hundreds of billions of dollars in social corporate welfare right <laughs> at the same time that they go this capitalistic system is amazing it's insane it is literally insane from tesla to everybody else right is volume fluctuating i hope not the man the legend i see i'm gonna look for volume how's the employment problem going to be going to be solved in the upcoming months or years vocalist uh disruptive innovation disruptive innovation we're seeing it right now top fiverr how are you doing how's the audio gang i'm just looking for audio stuff right now okay i'm all the way down the bottom of the chat it looks like the audio might be kicking in and out for some people and might not for others uh graham chicho how do we recon reconcile these two points of view though uh we should be free to say whatever we want plus i don't want to have to see stuff i find offensive or disgusting uh i i don't think there's a problem between them if you if you don't want to see stuff that you find offensive or disgusting don't look for it like don't go to places it's like it's like bars right if you're an adult there are different types of bars around right i mean i don't know if it's a good analogy or not but i can go to a strip joint if i want to i can go to a pool hall if i want to i can go to a strip joint that has pool tables i could go to a dance club i could do go listen go to a club that has house music i could go to festivals that have electronic music playing i could go to metal festivals metal shows it's my choice where i want to go right I, I don't see a problem with that and i can speak freely at each one of those festivals each one of those clubs taco bear chicho catholic traditionalist the leftist community on tiktok is alive and well i've learned a lot about political theory from it lately have you okay awesome huckleberry how's it going chicho baked how are you doing welcome to another live stream grand the audio is all over the place oh man the audio is all over the place pooper 
audio is 60 percent for my end is showing it to be okay so how do we fix this how do we fix this i don't even know if we can't fix this other than restarting it audio is 60 percent if you're using your lav mic for the stream it may need a new battery does this even take batteries <laughs> i didn't even realize there was a battery in it <laughs> now the audio is perfect now the audio is it seems perfect now it seems perfect okay it's uh, cheryl this thing takes a battery <laughs> i didn't know <laughs> it may or may not it may or may not okay i'm gonna look into it it's louder now it's louder now maybe with the thing was a little loose it's unfortunate because on my obs it was showing i'm looking at the audio input capture and it's showing normal range so i didn't catch it my apologies for that it's fantastic is it okay okay so for the first 45 minutes our audio is off oops sorry gang the audio that's going to go on soundcloud because i'm recording this on the lapel mic will be better unfortunately because my editing software is having glitches my editing computer is having glitches hiccups i'm not really editing any long videos on there it's it's like driving a ford don't believe the computer's lies i know elder god i'm gonna pop one of these uh blue cheese things seriously this blue cheese is absolutely insanely delicious i doubt it was gonna focus there you go look at that look at that goodness like so creamy so creamy look at that so creamy <laughs> it needs more blue let me find you a it's very creamy though it's so good here's here's the more a little bit more of the blue take a look Ooh. let's see if you'll focus is it gonna focus it's not gonna focus unfortunately yeah it needs a little bit more prime prime theog hello was just watching one of your youtube videos nothing better than listening to you in the background while doing work awesome i'm glad you're enjoying i'm glad you're enjoying what's my favorite kind of cheese it's difficult to say feta is the one i eat the most salute everyone i eat feta is the one hands down the one i eat the most stilton cheese elder god question mark no, feta weasel beast 2020 chicho i would like to ask ask your chat if i may in one word or sentence what would make a better world for you that's a good question what would make a better world for everyone in one word or one sentence more cheese <laughs> <laughs> i know that wasn't in response to that but oh it was more cheese <laughs> but a world catholic church is a chicho stilton is one of my favorite cheeses so rich and delicious yeah nice stilton is really good mr nub nubion nub nubby one mr nubby one thank you very much for the bits appreciate it cheese doesn't see uh some other people as well absurdicon feta cheese is great i'm a i'm a big pepper jack guy i smoke good oh smoke gouda is so good is another favorite yeah smoke gouda and honey feta and honey mm. i know people are gonna go you crazy logic one word that will make the world a better better place shoot here player plays says logic beans how are you doing no greed would make a better world no greed free exchange of information i like graham money redistribution 
vocalist which way because we already have money redistribution it's just going from the bottom to the top <laughs> is that what you mean yeah i think we would have to need uh, more specifically free comic books yes and we're working towards it we have free comic book day right affordable health care just health care coexistence I have a soft spot for these baby bell things. Baby bell things. Better awareness of environmental impacts. No war. More self love would benefit everyone in the world. Indeed, indeed. Love, Catholic tradition says. I could go on. Yeah. Specifically, agape love. Love. Get rid of it. <laughs> Dr. P says. <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Certain species would disagree. Certain species are prospering because of us. Uh, apricot liqueur that we ended up making uh, about three weeks ago. It's starting to taste really good. Super delicious. Oops. Super delicious. Compassion is also a good one. Yeah. Weasel Beast 2020. Thank you for the responses. One final question. What would you do personally to achieve it? Are you doing it now or could you start right now? No more hijacking, Chicho. <laughs> for me, uh, it's simple. Uh, to improve the world, we need accountability okay, and transparency of power. Okay, Accountability and transparency of power. We have that. We move light speeds into a better world mobile tristan mobile i'm surprised i haven't read even one rude comment yet chats are always full of those yeah we're we're a good crowd here man we'd like to keep it real i think uh, we've had trolls come in before and and whatnot but i think people are appreciating that we're not the bad guys and they're funner places to troll than people that are working towards uh, doing all the things that people recommended right I bought cheese earlier on my way to a better world nice Nathan Smith says Na Neanderthal <laughs> I'm just gonna say <laughs> Smith okay I keep on trying to pronounce your whole name, but I always mess it up. I wish the bang ba baby bell folks would be satisfied with a lower profit margin. Those things are great, but they are not cheap. Baby bell, baby bell, baby bell. I got to look that up. So if someone like me started to position himself in life to bring true accountability, including his own, into the mainstream, that may be a good start. Yeah, weasel beast. As long as you hold power, the accountability and transparency should be directly proportional to power, right? Capital is power. And there's one person who has been working towards that and he's becoming a martyr for it, and that's Julian Assange, right? Well, there are others, of course. There are others, of course. If you say my name right three times, I'll show up at your door <laughs> with some cheese. <laughs> oh, cheese. Oh, pff, can't do it, man. Can't do it. Weasel Beast says, I agree. JJC, I believe that if all countries and peoples could agree and respect each other, each other's differences, the world would be a lot better but in human nature there's there is conflict and there will always be war maybe in a more local sense we could come together and understand each other all lives matter not just black lives not just brown lives or whatever all lives matter and one thing that's going on right now is uh 
there's protests in Hollywood, right, in Los Angeles, that they're coming out and saying children's lives matter. And that is one wave we're seeing of the blowback or the ripple going through from Epstein and Maxwell, right? <laughs> a Catholic traditionalist. <laughs> He's saying the name, Smith's name. So he wants some cheese. Love those. They're great on crackers. Nice. Thank you, Will Show. Thank you for the bits. Very much appreciated. Very much appreciated. I was thinking more like Beetlejuice, but I could flip. Will. Here are all my bets. I don't make enough live streams to give them away. And this is this is where I bought them to spend. So I'm up upload uploading. Awesome. Thank you very much, Will Show. Appreciate it. <laughs> Absurdica Chicho. Baby Bell is a brand of cheese. They come in little wheels. Oh, okay. Coated in a thin layer of wax. You peel off. The cheese itself is white and soft and quite nice. I must have had them. I must have had them. They're, and you can buy them in bigger form as well, right? Graham, disagree. I don't think that is human nature. I don't think war is human's ground state of being. I think we've been conditioned to think that way. I agree with Graham, right? Initially, you could say it was resources. There's conflict with the resources and stuff like this. But... And a lot of the conflict right now in the world is resource wars, right? However, we're in the resource wars because of the greed factor. It's not because of trying to stay alive and prosper in your community. Well, some people's community is themselves, right? So that's the greed factor. But it's more about power trying to accumulate more power. It's not about survival anymore, right? Spider-Man, I'd have to respectfully disagree. Of course, all lives matter, but black lives are hurting a lot right now, and they should matter. Yeah, I think we're, everybody's right. All right. I don't think war is in human nature, JJC says, but conflict is in human nature, and conflict leads to war. Conflict can lead to war, I would say. That's what I meant. Are you familiar with the stinky cheese man? This <laughs> is Cheryl Spider Man. How to achieve the power to change things and then relinquish it at the appropriate time. It has to be in the design of the system. Uh, weasel beast. We can't rely on an individual to relinquish power, right? Because an individual should never be given that much power right it should be in the design of the system just like cryptos or anonymity really should be in the design of the system privacy should really be in the design of the system right we'll show oh i think war is uh societal nature when we group together we form nationalism and in order to better our society we feel like we need to accumulate more power through war will show have we reached a point that we are going to evolve past this past this tribalism past this reptilian mentality of annihilating the other right are we are we close to reaching that level evolving past that because as soon as we evolve past that we conquer the stars right as soon as we evolve past it cheryl catholic traditions to cheryl my daughter loves the stinky cheese man i don't even know what the stinky cheese man is he has performed at branches in our local library system many times is this another like red dog thing that the, the canadians don't know it's one of my favorites stinky cheese man what is this thing 
Kron, one of the worries that I've been seeing in the black community is that their voice is being overrun by other topics and they are worried that in the end things in their neighborhood will not change ah uh, Kron, my first thing is i don't think change is coming as fast as people would like it to see or in the positive direction right as for what you're saying let me give you uh, let me just get caught up with chat i'm going to give you an, something that happened in canada that i noticed when i was going to peace rallies okay elder god the capitalist system is flawed but we need a superior human for the next one you think so elder god i think we're already here man i think we're capable of it i think that's propaganda why would that ever be the case the war thing smith chicho stinky cheese man lives in the downtown east side i believe stinky cheese man lives in what do you mean smith stinky cheese man is a great shot i have no idea what the stinky cheese man is oh weasel bees 2020 our societies at present are not designed to better our lives but to continue the uh, the produce consume system the moment we don't produce you're worthless the moment you don't consume you're not keeping up with the joneses how can seven billion humans not create something better unless by design blah blah by programming by indoctrination right but i disagree that uh everybody thinks in those terms i think we are creative beings right we're here to create that's why censorship should never be a part of our society because there are people that are going to create things that are going to be disliked or freak out other people in our society and if those people in our society that freak out on what new way of thinking is creating they will censor it right so i think we are here to create i disagree that we're here to consume uh, material things i think we're here to consume information and incorporate it into our lives right so there's sort of little caveats in there uh weasel beasts i think uh produce what consume what maybe we should think about graham chicho are teachers resigning in your area or have you uh, been keeping up with the teachers uh resignations they're not uh, i haven't heard too many teachers resigning in my area there is concern in my area uh with the teachers and i have been following some of the information in my area but as far as i'm concerned graham our education system has completely collapsed right and i've been mentioning this before covid and it's just you know straw on the camel's back right i just walked past the school today and it's one of the main schools in my area and it was a gigantic building it's been there for i don't know i have no idea it's huge right they have a huge field couple of fields and stuff like this and you could have just walked in before and stuff like and whatnot if you're walking through now school hasn't even started they've put up gigantic fencing and there's little pathways little entrances and exits that you can walk off in and out now right and there's big signs there i don't i didn't have my phone so i didn't take a picture of the signs if i if i had i would take a picture of the sign they have rules and regulations of you know what you have to do to enter the grounds and stuff like this i personally wouldn't send my kids to a school like that right that's traumatizing that's that will have less longing effects on them personally so there is stress there's definitely stress i don't think there's been mass resignations uh but i can see mass resignations coming in the united states and people moving on to different uh fields of work or doing it privately decentralizing themselves which i hope they do catholic tradition chicho perhaps there is a canadian equivalent the sweet maple syrup man perhaps possibly <laughs> we should have a sweet sweet maple syrup man will show chicho do you think we will evolve past it 
I feel like a lot of people want to but without the accountability and transparency you mentioned it often feels hopeless I think the accountability and transparency is coming we just have to make sure we prevent central power from censoring information if central power is able to censor information kiss goodbye accountability and kiss goodbye transparency right censoring information is one of the most powerful tools that central capital has to make sure they social engineer a society right and we shouldn't want to be under a tyranny like that we're being socially engineered to do the bidding of central power right we have to make sure that censorship does not get a foothold in our societies extremely important change starts with personal accountability i believe very much so very much so right elder god cheryl i don't need to believe i know a human can be can be more the blue pill must be controlled there are a evolutionary dead end uh -huh, cheryl laughs that sounds like a prison yeah uh, if the school indeed 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 bailey the stinky cheese man and other fairly stupid tales is a great parody of popular kids fairy tales great read man i gotta i gotta off on this thing the government need stupid people to succeed yeah or those who are willing to toe the party line right indoctrination is very powerful very powerful indeed salute everyone so good and here's an apricot that's been soaking check this out here's the apricot right almost too shiny for it to focus surprisingly it's not as strong as the other fruits i think it hasn't absorbed it still needs to marinate more the liqueur uh, for it to get really that flavor right so i think the fruit is going to get stronger over time and the liqueur is going to get uh, sweeter over time uneducated yeah Graham anyway I've got to start going into school tomorrow oh you guys go tomorrow already Graham August 10th you guys are starting good luck brother and if it goes too far uh, pull out right if things are getting pretty sketchy start using up your six day sick days or take a mental leave of absence I know in my area with teachers you can take mental leave of absence right you retain your position and you can take an extended period off so do what you need to do whatever makes you comfortable brother for in service no class yet just pre-work and planning okay okay good luck brother good luck see how they're unfolding it I don't trust them trust me I'm always ready to fight against centralization good good spider-man i don't think uh, there's a crux on blm um, we have enslaved segregated and stripped away all human rights to black american lives from the elitist from the elitist they want us to say all lives matter to take away from the purpose purpose of the movement this country was built on systemic racism 100 percent. and what they what the what was done to the uh, 
blacks to the african americans that were brought us brought us slaves to the united states is unbelievable if you've looked at what they did it's just blows you away right like how could humans treat other humans in, in such a way right mind-boggling really and then when slavery was over the repression of blacks right was unbelievable in the united states how they're treated how they're stigmatized they're, it's insane systemic racism exists in the western world but it also exists in the whole world everywhere right i've the place that i've been to that had the least amount of racism but it still existed was cuba okay that's one place i went to that racism was not prevalent it wasn't in your face right there was racism between the more latino cubans than the black uh, cubans because a lot of the black cubans weren't making it up into the higher ranks of government but the racism among the general population was almost non-existent it was enlightening it was unbelievable to me right because i grew up in canada while well, i grew up i was here for many years before i went to cuba in the 90s and i was facing racism as someone who's brown in canada i got into fights because people were racist against me right and then i would go to cuba and that didn't exist uh, that's the place i've been to that had the least amount of racism that i can recall I robots the new slave class maybe with less negative aspects spider-man i'm sure you've experienced racism in life well oh, for sure <laughs> for sure on a good day things were discussed on a bad day things didn't go in such a right direction i guess i imagine antarctica is fairly tolerant possibly possibly catholic traditionalists the public schools in this area are starting classes after labor day my son's high school has decided to start on time on august 17 they have extensive plans for all sorts of source of con contingencies but we will see how things end up going i am gar guardedly optimistic that things will go well okay i hope so too catholic traditionals i really do no races in the uk we live in peace here he's laughing his ass off <laughs> all the god says <laughs> hilarious funny 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 up time one hour and 12 minutes Damn, these streams go way too fast man way too fast seriously these streams go insanely fast this cheese is really good too it's got cardamom in it cardamom seeds i really like this cheese as well I eat a lot of cheese, not focused. I eat a lot of cheese with honey, by the way. Honey and toast. So good. Spider Man, thank you for letting me vent, uh, Chicho. With the stress lately and the way the world is going, now I need an outlet. My pleasure, Spider Man. And venting is a great thing to do. Helps me out as well, by the way, in a big way. you think i'm zen <laughs> we still be 2020 we still be 2020 chicho how do i achieve your level of zen eat a lot of cheese <laughs> have you ever seen mice they're like super happy tell you the truth there are things I, you know i've gone well, first of all the harder hits you take right if you take really hard hits and you're able to come out of that that makes you stronger and have a lighter or it can uh, 
lighter you should be able to see the lighter side of life the absurdity of life once you realize life is absurd right and all you have to do to improve your situation is always do your best always try to go in the more positive direction slowly what you find out is things start working out for some reason to a certain degree and then life happens and you told god your plans and god laughing his ass off right cron yes black people have a lot of internal issues internal a lot of external as well cron <laughs> like jeez you must know that and it shows when you look in the communities i remember talking to friends that never had positive role models and didn't know who they were or their family so the confidence they had looked fragile it was sad because i used to get teased because i knew what native tribe part of my family was from and they didn't really know anything about their ancestors yeah and cron this was by design all right this was by design right systemic racism 100 percent. that's one thing people don't uh, appreciate that people say oh i'm not racist people I need to get over and stuff it's, it's not you individually you might not be racist but the system that we function under is 100 percent by design to oppress the other right we have to change that okay major major shark major shark how are you doing <laughs> i always call you george but i think it's major shark i think anyway please correct me if i'm wrong i think i switched between the hello my friend hope all is well much love thank you very much for the love i appreciate it <laughs> zen i'm gonna cheese coma right now <laughs> funny Cheryl, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go grab some cheese. <laughs> Take it. Some pretty big knocks. Still working through anger. Yeah, weasel, weasel beast. Okay, you've taken hard knocks. You're working through the anger. Do this. Start focusing your anger on the big things. Right? They, I know it's difficult, man. I've, I've gone through it where everything triggers you like trigger 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 you got to get yourself out of that right start brushing off the little things the noise right someone cuts you off fuck it right someone looks at you the wrong way forget it someone bumps into you it's okay right forget about that noise right look into our society figure out what really bothers you right and I'm not talking about individuals, right? It's not about individuals. It's about the system. Direct all that anger and all that creativity that comes from that anger towards fighting that thing. That really, you've narrowed down to a point you say, this is the problem, right? Right here. I'm going to hit it up from here. And realize that there are multiple different front lines. You just chose to be there right and if you don't like it move on to another front line right focus your anger to things that are bigger than you bigger than your problem more than your more than the knock that took you down right that's something that helped me man cheese god Catholic tradition. Yes, I am seriously tempted to grab a slice or two of. Gr 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 I know this cheese. I can't pronounce it. Grier and a bottle of uh, Strongwell Grier and crisp cider go extremely well together. By the way, my wife is expecting to use that cheese for French onion. Oh, French onion soup, though. Quite the dilemma. Quite the dilemma. I would not touch that cheese, Catholic traditionalist. Do not do it do not do it but it does use his soul the system the system is not racist um Cal elder god the police forces have been racist from day one right 
in Canada, the United States anyway. So by design, the system of policing was racist. The war on drugs was racist. So um, I would disagree. Maybe certain things are, they can use it as a tool. It's shake. Is it shake? Shake. Shark. Oh, it is shake. Major shake. Is that what it is? Major shark. Major shake. Chicho, how are you doing today? Miro, how are you doing? Doing good. Doing good. Thank you very much. Political accountability. Yeah. Why not? Stoicism, stoicism in action. Graham, as long as there have been laws, there have been they have been designed to oppress the other and defend the oppressor. In large part, yeah. Is that why I'm prone to rats? Rants about new world systems and overwhelming the elite. Again, no joke. <laughs> Possibly. I know I go off on them as well. Spider-Man, did you guys know the jail system was put into law once blacks became free and not slaves by the white man to oppress them? Was it? I think there were jails before that, Spider-Man. And on this planet, the other is non-white. Uh, disagree, Graham. Um, non-white. Actually, let me think about that. Is there any place where whites are looked down upon? Browns are. White? No. Mm. Interesting. Intrepid, how are you doing? Hey, Chicho. Hope you're having a chill night, my friend. Indeed. I'm drinking homemade uh, apricot liqueur. Salute. And eating cheese. Blue cheese and cheese with uh, cardamom on it. Very creamy. Weasel Beast 20. Weasel Beast 2020 is now taking donations of cheese for his new political party, the neighbor party. <laughs> Funny. Funny. Awesome. Wouldn't the other be the impoverished? Yeah, yeah. Like in India, the there's the caste system, right? But they are non-white, right? So that's why I paused a little bit. It doesn't mean the other can't be any other color than black. They can be. They're just non-white. Is there any place in the world where the whites are considered to be sub class, lower class? The brown thing is like a little little pastry thing. It's got like uh, lots of seeds in it, chia seeds. It's got raisins. It's very good, actually. It's gotten too dark now. I don't think I'll focus. It's pretty good. It will go great with the the cheese on top <laughs> indeed Miro no I haven't had time to read a sata so much on my plate brother Spider-Man, yes, Chicho, I worded that wrong. The white man started to abuse the jail system and throw black Americans in them. Mm -hmm. Can I throw that pastry thing in there? Oh, that's cool. Just eat it in front. <laughs> Spider-Man, 
Spider-Man. More African-American men are in prison or jail or prohibition or parole than were enslaved in the 19, in 1850s before the Civil War began. Uh, uh, Ohio State Law Professor. But here's a kicker, Spider-Man. You can't look at absolute numbers, right? It has to be a percentage. Okay. So anyone that quotes absolute numbers from 1850 to 2020, they're manipulating the data, right? What was the population in the United States in 1850? What's the population in the United States now? Population in the United States right now is 330 million people, 330 million plus people. The population in the United States in 1850 was what? How many black people were there? How many black people are now? We have to look at that. You have to look at ratios, percentages, not absolute numbers from 170 years ago. It doesn't make sense if you can do a direct comparison like that. And Alexander, an Ohio State law professor, he knows that, right? He's manipulating people. Why? He's probably a lawyer. And, well, he's a lawyer. Ohio State law professor is a lawyer, and he wants to manipulate people, right? Not all lawyers are bad, by the way. If you're a lawyer, you're watching this, you could be a phenomenal lawyer, right? I'm just saying. Uh, mathematicians do this as well. I'll enjoy my water, Smith says. That's crazy. Chicho, how do you how do Canadians view the U.S. handling of the virus? Uh, we think it's insane. Eighty percent. I think it was uh, some stat I looked at, and who knows where the stat came from? Who knows how accurate it is? But the stat that I heard that. I think CBC said or something like this, that 80% of Canadians don't want the border open, right? So that's a hearsay stat. But my interaction with Canadians, I haven't yet talked to a Canadian that wants the U.S. border to be opened up again with people traveling back and forward in en masse, right? <laughs> We're afraid of you guys, man. <laughs> what are you doing down there? <laughs> Cheryl. no cheese oh no grab the spoonful of cookie butter instead oh nice ridiculous cookie butter is awesome i'm assuming that's like cookie dough the elder god actually i was recently watching time tracks from 1993 where in the future the whites are in the minority and the blacks call the whites blanco ah really blanco blanca which show was that time tracks i know that movie i think i've seen that movie is it a movie that's true i'll i'll have to look at that regarding the, the prisons <clears throat> weasel 2020 with accountability will come some bitter truth to humanity 100 percent, and we need it we need it very bitter indeed and hopefully it is, if it ever comes to pass lessons are learned and written into global law yeah once we reach the stage where we got transparency and we're coming close to it to a certain degree transparency of power and accountability of power wow true transparency and accountability of power it's the only thing really that'll move us forward to the next phase of humanity without it we're we're stuck in this in this loop the world's population has almost doubled from my birth till now yeah i think it was one billion a hundred years ago in the turn of the uh in 19 1900 i believe so anyway I looked at this data a long time ago and just uh and you know knowing mathematics teaching mathematics and looking at the way uh, mathematics is used to manipulate tell fallacies right in instill dogmas in people it just blows me away okay like the war on drugs the first two people that were put in jail 
or first one at least anyway that was put in jail uh when the u.s government waged war pro prohibition war on drugs was a hemp farmer white hemp farmer that was thrown in jail right weasel beast wow six billion more yeah i believe so anyway don't quote me look at look at the data in any other area of nature we would call that an infestation a <laughs> weasel beast <laughs> oh my god true power is hidden we need to fly the puppet masters not the puppets indeed i agree with elder god 100 percent. keegan how are you doing hey chicho i finally can see you live nice love all your videos greetings from argentina greetings argentina how are you doing thank you for popping in welcome 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 and thank you for the love for sure miro yeah i'm uh spider-man hosting uh miro yeah i'm from san diego so for the most part the majority of the people follow guidelines on mask wearing social distancing etc however there's some politicizing on masks i don't get why some people get so irritated wearing one people think uh this is a this is obsession but it really isn't real op not oppression real oppression is in places like north korea or china here's a kicker people are being upset first of all there shouldn't be any shaming of people wearing masks or not wearing masks i think people should leave each other alone if you want to wear a mask wear a mask if you don't want to wear a mask don't wear a mask some people will say this doesn't work this, i think liberty supersedes tyranny or supersedes this type of situation right especially when central power is this corrupt you can't give them any more power to lock people up okay that's the problem we have right now right so i think people should leave each other alone okay and oppression the united states went into full oppression mode it's just taking this long for it to roll out when they passed the patriot act right when they started censoring information on the in a, in, in a huge way right controlling information they fired phil donahue the person that had the longest running daytime television show in the united states for like 30 years because he opposed the iraq invasion right they fired him they censored him they deplatformed him so deplatforming hasn't started with youtube or twitter or patreon and stuff like this with this new technology right deplatforming has been happening for for decades in our society one of the biggest one of the most well-known people okay on television that was respected up the yin yang was fired because he opposed the iraq invasion that's deplatforming that's censoring of information how do people how do, how do people feel about that right that is what censorship has brought okay i know there's people saying you know we should censor this voice we should censor that voice that 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 you can't censor any voices once you censor one voice you censor every voice okay in 1973 it was 3.5 billion um chicho mira says uh, when does uh, school start over here over there uh, it should be september september 5th or so so first week of september uh, school starts here i believe anyway okay roughly 1.6 billion in uh, 1900 yeah so 1.6 billion and we're at seven point we're pushing 8 billion now aren't we 7.5 so 1850 would have been probably 1 billion i'm guessing and what was the population in the united states then right because the population of europe was much more dense than the united states the united states was pretty sparse in 1850 relative to now anyway so the population in the united states would have been a way lower than 330 million right a ratio wise as compared to seven and a half billion to 1.6 billion 330 uh million relative to what it was back then in the united states i don't think it would have been uh it would have been a smaller ratio 
Catholic traditions. In my college years, I had a friend that would take me uh take me along to parties at lincoln university in jefferson city a few th few times a month at these parties i was often the only white guy it was definitely an interesting experience and understanding if only in a very very small way what it was like to be a minority in a large group cool that would have been a cool experience eh? the music must have been insane when was this ah catholic traditionalist was it the golden age of hip hop? 1980s, 90s? Okay, I'm scrolling down until I see something directed towards me again. Uh, Spider Man, here's my deal, Chicho. Shouldn't we try our best to stop the spread of the virus since it's so deadly and transmissible and masks are proven to help stop the spread? Here's the problem, Spider Man. Right. Sure, we should try to stop the spread of the virus. However, you can't give this type of power to to central such a corrupt institutions as we have right now that are governing over us, right? Because if you give them the mandate the right to force people to wear masks throw them in prison if they don't wear masks shut off their electricity shut off their water if they have gatherings then you're in full-blown tyranny and what's going to happen in the limit that power is going to be turned on the general population whoever the other happens to be at the moment right history has proven that right so you can't force people you can't take liberty away from people right when whenever central power deems it uh, acceptable to do so right because as you know as most of you know here huge huge percentage of the population is indoctrinated right so just imagine most of you weren't around or weren't aware what was happening after 9 11 and the build up to the iraq war right the majority of people that you talk to were in favor like 90 99 percent were in favor of invading afghanistan and 80 percent were in favor in the united states and canada was less but 90 percent of 99 percent of people in canada and the united states were in favor of invading afghanistan okay which was insanity to me and in the United States, more than 80% were in favor of invading Iraq. And in Canada, probably at least 50% were in favor of it, right? That's how indoctrinated people were. Do you really want to give that type of power to central institution that can manipulate, right? 99% of the population to invade another nation, right? To send them to war on the other side of the globe for revenge i don't right that is the problem okay we can't give that type of power away as soon as you give that away they're not going to stop there we know that right so you have to let people be if they choose to wear a mask they wear a mask if they don't choose to wear a mask they don't wear a mask they are not your enemy Graham Chicho, roughly 32 million U.S. population, 1850, according to the census, which was the first census to attempt to include slaves. Wow. So to, uh, 23 million, right? So more than uh, 10, what would it be? 10, uh, 11, 12, 13, 14 times more population in 1850, in 2020 than 1850, right? So as soon as spider-man that professor law professor from ohio state law when it says oh there are more people more blacks in in prison right now than there were uh blacks enslaved in 1850 the guys the guys manipulating okay really so it's 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 not cool it's not cool 76 million people in the u.s in 1900 so 76 what would the ratio be 76 uh, 330 so let's go 80 so four times and one point so the ratio would have been four times from 1900 to 
2020 for U.S. population. For the world, it went from 1.6 to uh, 7.5. So that's uh, what is that? <laughs> that's that's about five times, isn't it? It's actually more. Really? No, 1.6. yeah i guess so interesting let's go 1.5 three four and a half yeah four four more yeah it's about the same wow interesting it's about the same weasel 2020 there was never any stopping COVID. we simply were too focused on blaming others and ignoring reality we can however embrace this uh this force change to run things better catholic tradition is early 1990s the early 1990s i definitely learned a lot about hip-hop a genre i knew almost nothing about previously awesome awesome king reform liberty or death i tend to agree with that weasel beast most people in the uk are not aware that our parliament signed a two-year law allowing suspension of civil reform in order to combat social health and economic well-being damn i didn't know that either but uh, you know we know in general the uk is w going way down totalitarian than the us or canada so uk has been rolling out a few things over the last and before the pandemic by the way with the internet laws and censorship and all these things that they've been rolling out right and meanwhile the royal family some of their heads are pedophiles right <laughs> they're trying to they're passing laws to enslave the population and the royal families i don't know is this youtube allowable I'm scrolling down, gang. Hello. Hello, Karen Sin 64. Bit suitcase. Hello, hello. Death life, two sides to the same coin. Yeah, I'd rather be on the life side personally. Dr. P. Catholic Children Shisho. I wish I could have taken a picture of and of the look the dj at one of those parties gave me when i jokingly requested some grass priceless <laughs> hilarious funny funny they be like dude what the awesome and just imagine if he had a blues grass track and popped it on went that would have been kick-ass eh that would have been amazing spider-man can we just buy some land that wasn't stolen and name it Chichonia? <laughs> karen said how's everybody doing this fine evening or evening where i'm uh where i'm from yeah. i'm doing well here it's evening where i am birth is invite to death yeah yes and our spelling consists of a diet instead of a livet also it's pronounced k ren sin k ren sin k ren sin k ren sin thank you for that by the way i like it when people tell me how to pronounce their names k ren sin okay awesome i'm keeping an eye out eye on spain at the moment they have introduced the first national rollout of ubi if that goes well then screw england i'm out weasel beast you have to be a spanish citizen don't you spider-man then we can all move to chichonia <laughs> you will automatically become president of this land. i don't want to become president man i just want to live my life making math videos and doing this that's all i want to do man just sustain it maintain it and buy comic books i just and eat my cheese that's what i want to do <laughs> more cheese blue cheese throat wobbler mangrove smith says chicho weasel beast no chicho it also covers any immigrant 
immigrant present for over 12 months i believe really the ubi in spain that's pretty cool really that's super cool salute everyone dr p we say we choose life yet we speak into our existence whoops speak into our existence with a vibratory frequency of sound we call what we eat a die ah die it instead of live it ah okay thanks for capitalizing that therefore we are casting the spell of death rather than life when when speaking diet that's cool never thought about that live it diet i guess if you eat wrong you die earlier so it is a diet right i wonder what the origin of uh, the latin of that is but that's pretty cool dr p i hope that sticks grow forest chicho i was watching an interview of frank lloyd wright frank lloyd wright early 1950s he was discussing building out of the city he started to describe the process of decentralization of america because the expansion of gas stations he spoke of escaping the cities yeah i think i've uh, uh if it's the same person the ideal cities of the circular rolling out right with the compartmentalization and making it totally anti-fragile it's a very cool concepts and i think those are uh options we have to look at it's just the redesigning uh our living space eight bit suitcase how are you doing it's about time that the social and economic structural changes and for that um, to happen things have to get worse before they get better and that i agree i think things are going to get a lot worse then uh, they are going to get better chicho can we have a spider-man <laughs> statue <laughs> i don't know i don't have a oh i do have a little spider-man toy actually i got a few spider-man toys what am i saying i have one on my walls i'll try to remember to bring it next time but i have, do have a bunch of spider-man toys in boxes oh and entheogens would be 100 percent legal and entheogens would be 100 percent legal dieta latin word describing a daily food allotment ah dieta so it's not die but it's still the, the word die is still there daily daily food allotment dieta interesting dieta latin word describing a daily food allotment yeah so where did the word die come from then that must be latin as well serge would be our musical guest serge would be our musical guest <laughs> don't crush my dreams let's do it bring it for the comic stream okay if i remember i will if i remember i will it's it's one that i found in the last few years someone had left out it was just you know here people if they're moving they leave stuff out and you can go look and take things if you want and they had a superman and a spider-man so i went oh cool and they had this guy too check this out they had a c-3po head so, <laughs> so i i put the c-3po head on my on our living thing so i took the c-3po head and i took the superman and spider-man but i do have other spider-man little figurines they're not in good shape when quantum computers reach their uh, their start of its potential many things will improve by a lot more enough for governments to care less about us and more about them possibly unless they control them elder god diet g to live one's life l manner of living diet g the matter of living really the matter of living eating the matter of living is that what it is cool cool gang should we call the stream dietetics is a great word dietetics i don't know what dietetics means i would have to look that up 
<clears throat> Smith, no. We're almost into two hours, gang. And I haven't had any hiccups with bit shoot, making sure that these things are about the two hour mark or a little bit less ideally. So that's been going fantastic. More cheese. Cheese. Oh, so here's the meaning. The branch, so dietetics, the branch of knowledge concerning with the diet and its effects on health, especially with the practical applications of scientific understanding of nutrition. Cool. Very cool. I wonder if that's a, is that a newer term or uh, it's been around for a long time? It's Greek and Latin, so it's been around for a long time. Three hours here we come. Bit shoot is the future. Bit shoot is the future. Okay. I'm going to start uh, uploading more stuff to bit shoot, some of our previous videos. Uh, time to uh, kick it up a little bit. I'm not appreciating all the censorship on uh, YouTube and uh, Twitter and whatnot. <laughs> My friend is Greek and Latin. He's almost 3,000 years old. <laughs> Smith. On that note, gang, thanks for being here. Great discussion. We did talk about censorship a little bit. We didn't talk about privacy or surveillance, but we've talked a lot about those before. Uh, great discussion. We will be doing a current events live stream tomorrow tomorrow night at 8 p.m so we can continue our conversation because a lot of the talk was about current events and stuff i sort of try to direct it towards more censorship uh, because i think that's extremely important for us because we need that free flow of information okay uh again thank you for being here moss thank you for taking care of business thank you for the discussions everyone if you want to follow this work i'm on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o if you want to support this work patreon is a fantastic way to do so i don't put anything behind paywalls everything's creative commons share and share alike okay and you can follow the work and at some point if you do have the means patreon is a fantastic way to support this project we are live streaming on twitch twitch.tv forward slash chicho live c-h-y-c-h-o-l-i-v-e if you want to participate in these live streams in chat right here twitch is where you want to be at gang thank you for the follows thank you for the subs thank you for the bits and mods thank you for taking care of business okay I do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on Elo, VK, Gab, Minds, Parlor, and Twitter. You can follow the work there. Uh, we do share additional information. Okay. And um, you can see what, what we're sharing on those platforms. Okay. I will be uploading the audio of this discussion to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o if you want to listen to these discussions in audio format as podcast they are available on soundcloud and they should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify okay and we will be uploading this video to bitshoot and why not we'll kick this up to youtube as well i'm pretty sure we were uh censors will not zap us maybe i don't think they will but tomorrow's stream i don't think it will be uh uploaded to youtube okay so you can watch the videos after the fact on those two platforms everything goes to bit shoot most things go on youtube weasel beast thank you for the stream chicho and for the discussions you guys as well fantastic discussions facebook can see see you don't let them win don't let them win don't let them win gang i hope you have a fantastic evening fantastic morning for those of you in the uk and uh, europe and other parts of the world okay and afternoon possibly and if you can make it tomorrow night 8 p.m we do a current events live stream and then on uh, on uh, tuesday morning we're going to follow it up uh, with an economics live stream might as well do these three things back to back and uh, deal with everything that's come up okay gang bye everyone i'll see you guys tomorrow if you can make it